we are now going to look at another passage so we can try and practice those skills one more time. And instead of doing the same movements as last time, let's do, if you think the answer is A, you're going to a soft clap, just the clap to where you can still hear all of the other answer choices. If you think the answer is B, you're going to lightly bounce your feet or stop your feet. If you think the answer is C, you're going to wave your arms in the air like a cheerleader. And if you think the answer is D, you are going to give yourself a big hug. Okay, so this passage is titled, Why the Sea is Salty. And I'm going to predict that this is a fable or, sorry, let's see not a fable, a tall tale about how the sea got its salt. Now bring our paragraphs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. There's some pretty short ones there. And then we're going to go read our questions. Number one, what is the author's main message in, in paragraphs one through three? So we need to make sure we pay close attention to paragraphs one through three. Number two, what mistake does the young husband make when he overhears the old couple talking? Number three, based on the prefix dis, which we know means not or opposite of, what does distrusted mean? in paragraph five. Number four, read the sentence from paragraph six. Along the way, an a the anxious wife said, are you really sure this meal will give us anything we want? Read the analogy. Greedy is too satisfied as anxious is too blank. Number five, read the sentences from paragraph 13. Mill, please stop grinding, he commanded. Mill, please stop grinding my saw. Mill, Stop grinding. Mill, grind no more. What do these sentences show the reader about the husband's character? Number six, read the sentence from paragraph 15. The mill went flying, somersaulting as it sailed through the air, finally sinking and settling deep into the sea. What is the purpose of using repeated S sounds in the sentence? So we're going to go back and now read our passage. Why the sea is salty. Hundreds of years ago, when ocean water was not salty, a poor old man and woman lived in the coast of Norway. One day, a dusty old storyteller came to their village and the old couple gave him a meal and a place to stay. In return, he gave them a coffee meal, a little wooden box with an opening on the top, on top, a handle for grinding the coffee beans, and two doors in front where the coffee came out. If you say, Mill, please grind, it will make whatever you want, the storyteller said. To stop it, say, Mill, please stop, please halt your grinding. Soon the old couple was leading a much better life, but they always been happy people, and they didn't need much more. The young husband and wife next door though, were greedy people who were never satisfied. When they, were, when they saw the old couple wearing fine clothes and buying good food, they burned with jealousy, so the young husband sneaked over to the old couple's window where he heard the old man say, Bill, please grind hot chocolate. The young husband stood amazed as he watched the mill begin pouring hot chocolate into the cup the old man held. The neighbor raced back to his wife to tell about the amazing mill. One day, when the old couple was away, the neighbors entered their house. The old couple never locked their door, as they distrusted no one, and stole the mill. They bought a horse and carriage and set off to the coast. Set off down the coast, where no one would know them. Along the way, the anxious wife said, "Are you really sure the mill will give us anything we want?" The husband answered calmly, "Of course, I'm sure. What do you want to make? What do you want it to make?" Oh, I don't know. Why not salt? Mel, please grind salt, he commanded, and the little handle began turning as salt poured out. It works, 
We can have anything we want, the wife shouted, but then she noticed the salt spilling everywhere. Make it stop, the wife said, but the husband hesitated. You mean you don't know how? The wife shrieked. Mill, please stop grinding, he commanded. Mill, please stop grinding salt. Mill, stop grinding. Mill, grind no more. But the handle kept turning, and soon the carrots began filling with salt, much so much salt that the husband and wife had to open the door and kick it out with their feet. When they suddenly came to a cliff high over the sea, the husband grabbed the mill from his wife's hand and marching to the cliff edge, threw the mill as far as he could out of the wa out over the water. The mill went flying, somersaulting as it sailed through the air, finally sinking and settling deep into the into the sea. There it has been for hundreds and hundreds of years, down among rocks and waving grasses, endlessly churning out salt. And that is why the sea is salty. Number one, what is the author's main message in paragraphs one through three? So paragraphs one through three were telling us about the old couple and how they got the coffee mill or the, the mill. Is the main message A, people may try to balance bad deeds with good deeds. If you think the answer is A, you're going to softly clap your hands together. B, happiness comes from within, not from the things you own. If you think it's B, you're going to softly stomp your feet. C, traveling is a good way for you to learn about the, the wider world. If you think it is C, you are going to shake your hands in the air like a cheerleader. Or D, even when their wishes come true, people sometimes want more. If you think that is the message of paragraphs one through three, you are going to give yourself a hug. It is not A because the person who gave them the meal, the storyteller wasn't doing a bad deed to try and cover up a good deed or trying to cover up anything. The answer is not C because it has nothing to do with traveling. We're only talking about paragraphs one through three. And the answer is not D because the old people were very pleased with the things that they had. They didn't want more. So our answer here is B. Number two, what mistake does the young husband make when he overhears the old couple talking? A, he runs home too soon. If you think that's the answer, you are going to softly clap your hands. Softly slap your feet if you think B, he refuses to believe them. Wave your hands in the air if you think C, he tells no one what he learns. And give yourself a hug if you think D, he expects his wife to listen instead. So when he overhears the old couple talking, and he wants the mill that's in paragraph four where he gets jealous and he sneaks to their window to hear the old man say mill please grind chocolate he runs home too soon because he did not hear how to stop it well he was wrong in the first place Number three, based on the prefix dis, which means the opposite of, what does distrusted mean? So the opposite of trusted. Is it A, expected? If you think it's A, you're going to softly clap your hands. If you think it's B, believed, you're going to softly stomp your feet. If you think the answer is C, doubted, then you are going to wave your hands in the air. And if you think the answer is D, invited, you're going to give yourself a hug. Our sentence says, The old couple never locked their door as they distrusted no one. They never locked their door as they distrusted no one. They doubted no one. So C is our correct answer there. Number four, read the sentence from paragraph six. Along the way, the anxious wife said, Are you really sure this mill will give us anything we want? 
Read the analogy. Greedy is too satisfied, which these are opposites. As anxious is to what? What is the opposite of anxious? If you think it is A, cozy, you are going to softly clap your hands. If you think it's B, tired, you're going to softly stomp your feet. If you think it's C, steady, you're going to wave your hands in the air. And if you think it is D, carefree, you're going to give yourself a hug. What is the opposite of anxious? Anxious could mean that you're kind of nervous, maybe jittery. So the opposite would be carefree. Number five, read the sentences from paragraph 13. Mill, please stop grinding, he commanded. Mill, please stop grinding salt. Mill, stop grinding. Mill, grind no more. What do these sentences show the reader about the husband's character? A, he is starting to feel worried about what he has done. If you think that's the answer, you're going to softly clap. B, he thinks he should have wished for something else. Softly stomp your feet. C, he believes he will soon remember what to say. Wave your hands in the air. D, he is angry that the old couple has tricked him. You are going to stomp your feet. I'm not just kidding. D is uh, give yourself a hug. So which one is it? This is showing that he is starting to feel worried about what he has done start to panic a little bit so your answer here is a and number six read the sentence from paragraph 15 the meal went flying somersaulted as it sailed through the air finally sinking and settling deep into the sea what is the purpose of using repeated s sounds in the sentence so we have somersaulting sailed sinking settling into the sea no alliteration so is this Purpose A, it tells how far the mill flew and how deep it sank. B, it echoes the sound of the young couple as they argue. C, it shows that the young husband and wife feel ashamed. Or D, it suggests the sound of the salt is as it pours from the mill. If you are softly clapping your hands you are correct because the answer is a okay i am now going to gift you with one of the easiest hundreds that you could ever earn okay so everything that we have gone over today the the um story pierre lemar de lemar and our last story why the sea is salty is going to be your assignment for today. So you are going to just go right on over to your Google form that is assigned to you. You put your name, it'll say 2 slash 17 assignment, and it'll have Pierre de Lamar and the questions, questions that we already went over, questions I've already given you the answers to. You're going to put those answers in. I will include the passage um, as well. So you'll put the answers in if you need to go back and look at the videos to double check, you're more than welcome to. And then it'll have the passage, why the sea is salty, and the questions to go along with that. And again, this is the easiest way for you to make a 100. Super easy because we have now gone over all of the answers for both of these.